श्री क्षेत्र जगन्नाथ पुरी धाम की जाए गंगा मई यमुना मई की जाए तुलसी महारानी की जाए समवेत भक्त बंधु की जाए हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जाए निताय गो प्रेम आनंद हरि 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 आलोरी स्तोत्र से मुंडी उठ जरे कृष्णा 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 आलोरी 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 कृष्ण गुरु बंधु रंगा बन जाए विष्णु बुदाय कृष्ण विष्टाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी राम नमस्ते सारस्वत देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणी विशेष थैंक यू ऑल फॉर जॉइनिंग स्पेशल क्लास सो विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड लॉफर ऑफ प्रेयर्स आचार्य कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस सब्जेक्ट मैटर राधा तत्व अकांड स्क्रिप्चर्स अकांड द आचार्यस उमग्धान तिरंदस्य ज्ञानांजन सराकया चक्षुरुन्मीलितम यना तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः मुकम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लंगेते ग्रिम मत कृपा तमहं वंदे श्री गुरुं देयतारिण परमानंद माधवं श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरं पंचाकल्पतरुभ्यस्य कृपा सिंधु पयेव च पतितानां पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासादि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्ट स्थापित मेन भूतरे स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददाती स्वापदाद की जय शुरुपाद की जय गौरभक्त सो फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट विथ ब्यूटिफुल Beautiful prayer sung by Sri Rupa Goswami. It is called Sri Radhika Astava, part of uh, uh, Padyavali Astava. It is called Astava Mala. Rupa Goswami has given this beautiful song. Rupa also gave a lecture on this. Uh, it is called Sri Radhika Astava. Astava Mala, volume number six, song number fourteen. Uh, so this is Rupa Goswami composer. I will share one minute. called radhe jay jay madhav dai most of you may know but uh, we will first sing and then very very beautiful song every day i think we can meditate pray without the mercy of shrimat radharan we will understand today we cannot attain anything so everything must has to go through her spiritual master is representative of her so you can mute and chant also radhe jaya jaya madhava daite radhe jaya jaya madhava daite gokula taruni महिते गोकुल तरुणी मंडल महिते राधे जय जय माधव दैते राधे जय जय माधव दैते दामोदर रति वर्धन वेशे दामोदर रति वर्धन वेशे हरिने स्कृत वृंदा विघ्ने से हरिने स्कृत वृंदा विघ्ने से राधे जया जया माधव दै 
ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಧಾದಿ ನವಶಿಲೆಕೆ ವೃಷಭಾನುಧಾದಿ ನವಶಿಲೆಕೆ ಲಲಿತ ಸಖಿ ಗುಣ ರಮೀತ ವಿಶಾಖಿ ಲಲಿತ ಸಖಿ ಗುಣ ರಮೀತ ವಿಶಾಖಿ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ಕರುಣಾಂ ಕುರು ಮಯಿ ಕರುಣಾಭರಿ ಕರುಣಾಂ ಕುರು ಮಯಿ ಕರುಣಾಭರಿ ಸನಕ ಸನಾತನ ವನೀತ ಚರಿತೆ ಸನಕ ಸನಾತನ ವನೀತ ಚರಿತೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ಗೋಕುಲ ತರುಣಿ ಮಂಡಲ ಮಹಿತೆ ಗೋಕುಲ ತರುಣಿ ಮಂಡಲ ಮಹಿತೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ದಾಮೋದರ ರತಿ ಪಧನ ಬೇಸೆ ದಾಮೋದರ ರತಿ ವರ್ಧನ ಬೇಸೆ ಹರಿಣೇಸ್ಕೃತ ವೃಂದಾಭಿಪಿನೇಸೆ ಹರಿಣೇಸ್ಕೃತ ವೃಂದಾಭಿಪಿನೇಸೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ವೃಷಭಾನುಧಾದಿ ನವಶಿ ಲೇಖೆ ವೃಷಭಾನುಧಾದಿ ನವಶಿ ಲೇಖೆ ಲಲಿತ ಸಖಿ ಗುಣ ರಮೀತ ವಿಶಾಖಿ ಲಲಿತ ಸಖಿ ಗುಣ ರಮೀತ ವಿಶಾಖಿ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ಕರುಣಾಂ ಕುರು ಮಯಿ ಕರುಣಾಭರಿ ಕರುಣಾಂ ಕುರು ಮಯಿ ಕರುಣಾಭರಿ ಸನಕ ಸನಾತನ ವನೀತ ಚರಿತೆ ಸನಕ ಸನಾತನ ವನೀತ ಚರಿತೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ೈತೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ಗೋಕುಲ ತರುಣಿ ಮಂಡಲ ಮಹಿತೆ ಗೋಕುಲ ತರುಣಿ ಮಂಡಲ ಮಹಿತೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ದಾಮೋದರ ರತಿ ವರ್ಧನ ಬೇಸೆ ದಾಮೋದರ ರತಿ ವರ್ಧನ ಬೇಸೆ ಹರಿಣೇಸ್ಕೃತ ವೃಂದಾಭಿಪಿನೇಸೆ ಹರಿಣೇಸ್ಕೃತ ವೃಂದಾಭಿಪಿನೇಸೆ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಮಾಧವ ದೈತೆ ವೃಷಭಾನುಧಾದಿ ನವಶಿ ಲೇಖೆ ವೃಷಭಾನುಧಾದಿ ನವಶಿ ಲೇಖೆ ಲಲಿತ ಸಖಿ ಗುಣ ರಮೀತ ವಿಶಾಖಿ 
ललित सखी गुण रमित विशाखी राधे जय जय माधव दैते करुणा कुरु मयि करुणा भरिते करुणा कुरु मयि करुणा भरिते सनक सनातन वनीत चरिते सनक सनातन वनीत चरिते राधे जय जय माधव दैते हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे तैगोर प्रेमानंद जी हरे हरि बो श्री राधा श्याम सुंदर की जय सो First, we will understand who is Srimati Radharani, what's her position and uh, her tattva, her appearance and why did she appear, these aspects, everything from Shastra and where it is described about Srimati Radharani. Somewhere it is confidential, somewhere it is described as hidden, somewhere it is described as indirectly. So various ways, but it is really described. So we will try to understand that because it is very important. Because many people have questions. The so first we will understand because this is elaborately described by Sri Lakshmidas Kaviraj Goswami, one of the greatest author of the compiled author of the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Sri Prabhupada has translated this book. So this is the PhD. So that's why generally we are not supposed to discuss about Srimad Radharani because on the occasion of Radhashtami we are trying to discuss, trying to understand. It is very inconceivable. It's, uh, it's very difficult to understand Supreme Lord Sri Krishna itself. And then on top of it understanding the uh, Srimad Radharani and her position and her tattva is even more difficult. So, let's understand from Chaitanya Charitamrita. Before that, we offer our prayers to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by whose mercy only we can understand. So, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kairaj Gosam, Sri Chaitanya Prasadena Tad Rupaya Vinirnayam Balo Api Gurute Shastram Drushtva Praja Vilasina 
by the mercy of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu even a foolish child can fully describe the real nature of lord krishna the enjoyer of the pastimes of raja according to the vision of the revealed scriptures so the, so this is what we need to uh, we need mm, this kind of mercy then only we can understand uh, uh, anything about shrimati radharani now so let's understand what is the um, why she is called radha where this is coming from what is the definition so krishna das karas go some explaining um, that so why she is called because she is always fulfilling the desires of the supreme lord shri krishna that's why she is called radha where is mentioned krishna vancha purti rupa kare aradhane ataiva radhika nama purane vakhane her worship is called aradhana the name one is coming from aradhana hmm? aradhana means worshiping that is coming and that's why radha is coming from that word aradhana from that aradhana word and also she appeared on the birth star is anuradha nakshatra when she appeared uh, so that also so there are different other many other uh, meanings also so here it is described her worship aradhana consists of fulfilling the des- desires of lord krishna therefore the puranas call her radhika and proper explain that so who excels personality who excels all in worshiping krishna may therefore be called radhika the greatest servitor further we understand uh, also that because when this is from golokrandavan when lord uh, one time when lord krishna uh, is in mahavan so mahavan when uh, yeah lord krishna is in golok vrindavan in mahavan uh, that time uh, yeah from the gopi appeared in rasamandal when uh, first of all let's go to chetan charitamrita where it is explained who is exactly shrimad radharani she is the loving transformation transformation of love of krishna and radha krishna pranaya vikriti ahladini shakti ekatmana bhuvi pura deha vedo gatavato चैतनाख्यम अधुना चैक्यम आप्त राधा भाव ज्योति सुबलित मौमी कृष्ण स्वरूप चैतन चरित चाप्टर वन आदि लीला वर्ष नंबर फाइव वेर इट इज एक्सप्लेन राधा कृष्ण प्रणय विकृति विकृति मीन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन प्रणय मीन लव सो राधा कृष्ण दे आर एक्चुअली ओरिजिनली लॉर्ड कृष्ण दे आर टूगेदर वन बट दे डिवाइडेड इटर्नली सो टू एक्सचेंज रसा if mm, uh, propal gives propal gave four lectures on radhastami topic in four different places so where uh, sri propal explains if param brahma want to enjoy who will enjoy yes if you want to enjoy as yes, material pleasure who will enjoy with someone but if krishna himself want to enjoy he cannot enjoy with any material pleasure. he is atmaram he doesn't need so himself is expanding as shrimati radharani and so that further is explained so where we see that in this verse of the radha krishna pranay vikriti ahladini sakthir ekatmana bhuvi deha vedo gatavato chaitanya akyam madhuna so later on then again when lord krishna wants to taste actually the rasa the sweetness why shrimad radharani is getting so much pleasure so he wants to taste in the mood of sri madran as a devotee to understand her uh, sweetness understand that mellow so that's when again she is come that's why the last two lines are explaining about chetan mahaprabhu appearing in the mood of sri madran actually vishnu chakravarti thakur explains in one of the dream in nidivan nidivan forest in vrindavan has 12 forest one of the nidivan where radha and krishna perform sweet pastimes there one time and they are taking rest so shrimad radharani telling lord krishna that i had a beautiful dream in that dream krishna chakra thakur is telling in that beautiful dream i saw a personality with a uh, golden color form and he is always chanting uh, loudly in the holy names of the lord uh, and uh, propagating distributing this to so many uh, in a beautiful color a beautiful form who is this personality so can you tell me then lord krishna opens the kostuba jam on his chest 
and opens it and tell Sri Madhavarani to see. Then when she sees, then she could see, understand that both the Radha and Krishna together combine uh, appear as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Aptyam Aikyam combined in the mind, then appears in the mood of Srimad Radharani. Krishna is appearing in the mood of Srimad. That is the main internal part, internal reason is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants to taste the sweetness of Srimad Radharani and also distribute this love uh, again, so as for the highest rasa. Uh, then propagate the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, obviously. So that that is the, the first and foremost we have to understand now. So he cannot, uh, as Prabhupada explained, Param Brahma cannot enjoy with uh, any material presence. So that's why when he wants to enjoy, then he expands himself as Srimad Radharani. Now, so we will go to Chaitanya Chaitanya again, where it is explained as, where is that, yeah. Yes. So, Srimati Radhika is the transformation of Krishna's love. She is the, his internal energy. Verse number 59. Radhika Hayena Krishna Pranay Vikar. Surupa Sikti Ladini Nama Yanhar. So, then further, Ladini gives Krishna pleasure. Ladini energy gives Krishna pleasure. And now it is his devotees. So, when we are engaging in devotional service, we are getting the pleasure. That pleasure is coming from Srimati Radharani, Ladini Potency. She is the representation of Ladini Potency. Further it is explained that Ladini Kare Krishna Ananda Aswadane. Ladini Dware Kare Bhakti Poshana. Devotees are getting the nourishment because from her. Further it is explained that the total exhibition of these three potencies, there are three potencies. Parastha Siktir, Vivadeva Sriyate, Swabhava Ki, Jnana Bala Kriya. That Swabhava, Jnana Bala Kriya. Jnana Bala Kriya is coming from these three potencies. First one is Sandini. Sandini is coming from, uh, um, uh, which is from, this This is from uh, the eternal position. Satchit Ananda. Eternality is nothing but this Sandini potency coming from Lord Balaram. Then Samvit is coming from uh, knowledge, such chit, that chit is nothing but knowledge. And uh, to understand who we are, the spirit souls, uh, minute Brahman, and understanding the Parab Brahman, Supreme Lord Sri Krishna, absolute truth and relationship, that is uh, that knowledge is coming from the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. Lord Krishna is representing that Samvit. And then Hladini, third one is Ladini, the pleasure potency representing by Srimad Radharani. The Sandini is from Lord Balaram, Sat, eternality aspect. That is the existential potency. That is why if Lord Balaram is the one who is expanding that Golo Vrindavan, you know, Vaikuntha planets, everything, he is the one holding up. He is expanding himself. Lord Balaram is uh, serving Lord Krishna in so many different ways, as umbrella, as shoes, as everything, including the Dham also. So that is Lord Balaram. That is the existential potency, sub aspect. And Chit aspect, the knowledge is coming from the Lord Krishna, Samvit it is called. That is Chit aspect. Then only we can know the, our position and Supreme Lord's position and our relationship, all those. That is from Chit aspect. Sat Chit. And then Ananda. Without Ananda, there is no way we can, because everybody is looking for happiness. That's why nobody wants to die, nobody wants uh, unhappiness. Everybody is looking for happiness through material means. But here, we have to understand the transcendental pleasure. Tapasa Brahmacharyan Samyana Dhamyana Cha. Tapo Divyam Putraka Ayanasam Brahma Sokyam Yanantam. That Brahma Sokyam, this is beyond this Brahma Sokyam. That Brahma Sokyam, uh, not uh, merging into Brahman effulgence. Not even the uh, master and servant relationship in the rest of the way. We are talking about uh, Sakya Vatsalya Madhur, the highest process in Golo Vrindavan. Friendship, parental and child relationship and uh, conjugal love. Friendship. So these three rasas, Vatsal Ras, Madhur Ras, and Sakya Ras. When it is explained, these three rasas, three potencies, Sandini, Samvit, Ladini. So, Anandam se Ladini, Sadam se Sandini, Chidam se Samvit, Yare, Gnana, Karimani. So, this total exhibition of these three potencies is called Visuddha Sattva also. Another place is mentioned. Then, further it is said, this essence of Ladini is the love of God. The essence of Ladini is love of God. The essence of love of God is 
the mellows the mellows the sentiments the mellows the rasa essence of love of god is emotion bhava and then ultimate development of that bhava is called mahabhava and then who is that mahabhava sarupani he is shrimad radhika so radhinira sara prema the essence of radhini is nothing but love and then prema sara bhava essence of prema is this uh, emotions uh, everybody this uh, we talk about emotions and mellows uh, that is when we say krishna consciousness proper explained that is krishna bhakti rasa bhavita mati kriyatam api yad labhyate kudo jam sukrita vin alabhyate so tatra lolyam ekala mulyam one must purchase if it is available anywhere the intense greed we must have there it is mentioned krishna bhakti rasa bhavita rasa bhavita means bhava that is mellows sentiments Uh, so that is what is the essence of love is uh, sentiments and mellows uh, so many rasa that's why so many rasas are there uh, that's why there is swakiya rasa and parakiya rasa and parakiya rasa is the highest so but that is not, it is not related to anything of what we think in this material world man and woman coming together no that is not that doesn't have any material quality whatsoever we are talking everything about the transcendental nature transcendental nature and where it is explained here ya bhave bhavera parama kaska nama mahabhava mahabhava the out of the bhava ecstatic emotions highest emotion is called mahabhava nobody else has only shrimad radharani has this mahabhava further explained mahabhava swarupa sri radhika takurani sarva guna kani krishna kanta shiromani is all explained in chetan charitamrita so sri radhika uh, radha takurani is the embodiment of mahabhava she is the uh, repository of all good qualities and crest jewel among all the uh, lovely concerts of lord krishna not only that there are three uh, types of concerts everything is coming from shrimad radharani that is explained further the beloved concerts of lord krishna are three three kinds first one is goddess of fortune second one are queens third one are gopis uh, so they are explained as goddess of fortune is a partial manifestation vaibho vilas and then queens are reflections of our image vaibho prakash is almost like krishna as we can see krishna expansions are also explained in this way in chetan charitamrita vaibho prakash prabho prakash prabho vilas in the same way so we can see is not, not much different from uh, krishna Uh, so cause of all just like krishna is the cause of all causes uh, so all these expansions of lord balram and chaturvyuha all the uh, different incarnates are from same way all the goddess so she is the energy uh, and energetic is krishna uh, so that is also coming further so here these three um, uh, consorts are explained as the goddess of fortune queens are reflection and gopis gopis are our own expansions just like balram who is balram balram is first direct expansion of krishna just like that gopis how many gopis uh, are being served by uh, uh, the serving shrimad radharani uh, bhakti prashant kumar is explaining 630 million gopis are serving in golok vrindavan shrimad radharani imagine how many yeah? so million not even uh, one two uh, so that uh, that way even in brahma samhita we read the lakshmi sahasra sat sambrama sevi manam govinda madhu purusham tam hum jam lord brahma is praying that thousands and thousands of lakshmis are serving golok and down so lord govinda so the gopis are our own expansions they are instruments in expanding the rasa these mellows because otherwise it is not interesting so variety is the mother of enjoyment so that variety is coming from this expansion and creating all this variety of rasas Uh, it brings uh, different flavors uh, further i explain that govinda nandini radha govinda mohini govinda sarvasya sarvakanta shivomani uh, she gives the pleasure she gives the uh, uh, she enchants govinda uh, and everything uh, whatever uh, desires fulfilling all the desires that's why it's called sarvakanta shivomani and sarva govinda sarvasya everything and then uh, it is mentioned further brahat gautime tantra uh, where it is explained devi krishna mai prokta it is krishna mai means non different from krishna in one sense okay, she is non different from krishna uh, radhika paradevata sarva lakshmi mai sarva kanti 
Sammohani para. Krishna Mahi means she is identical with Lord Krishna. She embodies the mellows of love. Uh, so, the, another place also mentioned in the same Chaitanya Chiritam. Radha Purna Sekti, Krishna Purna Sekti Maan. Dui Vastu Veda Nai, Shastra Praman. So, this is what I will tell. So, Radha is Purna Sekti, means energy. All the energy, the, she is the fullest in energy. She is, uh, all the energy is uh, getting distributed from her. And then the source of that energy is energetic, is Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. So, wherever the fire is there, there is heat. So, heat is coming from because fire is there. They are inseparable. If heat is there, you are so, you, we know definitely that there is fire. Same way, where, uh, the Srimad Radharani is there, Krishna is there. Wherever she is looking at, uh, she is always seeing Krishna in everything and each and every aspect. Uh, so, that is, that's why she doesn't know anything other than Krishna. Uh, she is always trying to serve Krishna in so many different mellows and rasas. Uh, so, I will mention, Radha Krishna Aichi Sada Ekai Suru. Leela rasa aswadite dare duiru. So, in this way, and um, we see that in uh, Padma Purana also in so many places. This is in Chetan Chiritamrata we see, and Srimad Bhagavatam also we see that this is in uh, indirectly um, uh, Krishna, uh, what is that? Uh, Sukadeva Goswami is mentioning indirectly in 10th canto, 30th chapter, verse number 28. Is quoting because Sukadeva Goswami, first of all, he, can, he couldn't describe for two reasons. One, because he, uh, one, he was uh, discussing with who? Discussing Srimad Bhagavatam is speaking to Parikshit Maharaj. Parikshit Maharaj is related to, especially, uh, Devaki and Vasudev, hmm? Vasudev's family. Hmm? He is uh, directly connected. So, he cannot describe because he, that means he has to bring the Shyamasundar Krishna, Nanda and Isoda son Krishna. Uh, the, and then he has to discuss about gopis, uh, and then it will be a, uh, it may uh, not be uh, giving, you know, some, he may have, Parikshit Maharaj may feel some sadness or something. So that's why Sukadeva Goswami didn't, hmm, these are two, two reasons Acharya has described. One is this, because Parikshit Maharaj is related to, so that's why he didn't describe. And the second reason, he was ready to describe when he came to 10th canto, all the uh, gopis uh, appeared in his heart. Sukadeva Goswami is ready to describe, but then they, the gopis requested. All, so many exalted, you know, so many seniors are there, hmm, karmis, gnanis, uh, yogis, so many are there assembled in this um, uh, in this assembly, where Sukadeva Goswami is speaking, Srimad Bhagavatam, please uh, don't describe our, uh, this is a confidential uh, meeting of, uh, with our beloved Supreme Lord Sri Krishna, uh, don't describe our pastimes. Then, uh, then if you don't, if I don't describe, then uh, how the, how people will be delivered, how they can understand. Uh, uh, so, so I need to describe. Then, okay, if you want to describe, then at least do not uh, disclose our names. So that's why, so in this, because of these two reasons, Sukadeva Goswami didn't describe uh, Srimad Radharani's name as probably the gopis. In two places, in Srimad Bhagavatam, it is indirectly mentioned. Chaitanya Chaitanya directly mentioning about Srimad Radharani's position and her, uh, her uh, who is uh, her Radha Tattva, who is exactly Srimad Radharani. We can see not different from Krishna. And Krishna expanded into Srimad Radharani when he want even he, Parabrahma, when Krishna wants to enjoy it, he can only enjoy with himself. If he wants to fight, whom he can fight? He can only fight with his devotees. In Vaikuntha there is no fighting. That's why that uh, Jaya and Vijaya thing has happened because Krishna is desiring them, uh, then through them, then they appeared here. Hmm? Ravana, Kumbhakarna, Zibal, Dantavakra, Hiranya, Akshan, Hiranya Kajibu and in the they, by their desire, they want to also be in the movement, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, pastime. So then they also are Madhavananda and Jagadamba, Jagad and Madai. Also in four uh, births and they went back. So in that, in that way, so Krishna cannot enjoy with anything unless he has to enjoy with the, his own transcendental potency. So that's why he expanded himself. So that is, and then we see in Srimad Bhagavatam 10th canto, chapter number 30, verse number 28, where it is explained Srimad Radharani indirectly. Anaya Aradito Nunam Bhagavan Hari Iswaraha Yamno Vihay Govinda Prito Yam Anayad Raha. Certainly, this particular gopi, 
Anaya Aradito. There is no other superior gopi than this. Anaya Aradita. Aradita means again the topmost worshipper, the best service who can give only Sri Madhavarani. So that's why we must um, Bhagavad Gita also we are coming to. We'll come to Bhagavad Gita, we'll see nectar devotion, we'll see nectar instruction, we'll see in Vedanta Sutra, everywhere you see Sri Madhavarani's name is mentioned. Everywhere, not one place. Somewhere it is confidence, somewhere it is indirectly, somewhere it is directly. So, but it, it is mentioned everywhere. Certainly, this particular gopi has perfectly worshipped the all-powerful personality of Godhead, Govinda. Since he was so pleased with her that he abandoned the rest of us and brought her to a secluded place. Uh, this is, so, this is the uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam. In another place, 10.47.9 line also, uh, there is a verse, Kachin Madhukaram verse. There also that Kachin, nothing but a gopi, one of the gopi. So, so that one of the gopi is against Srimad Radharan. So in this way, indirectly Sukadeva Goswami is hinting. So now in Bhagavad Gita also, it is explained uh, uh, in uh, multiple places. Uh, Prabhupada explained in the purport also. Uh, so one is in the, uh, directly that 9.13, we see that Mahatma Anastu Mahampartha Daivim Prakriti Mahatma, that Daivim, the internal energy Lord. Uh, if we uh, want to take, um, unless we take shelter of the internal energy of the Lord and the devotees, the Iveen Prakrutam, that there, the divine energy is nothing but Srimad Radhan. She is the source. She is the expansion. All, uh, all the energies are coming from her. The Lakshmis, the Queens of Dwaraka, uh, so, and uh, Gopis, the Milkmaids, the Vrajavasis. Uh, that's why we think, Aradhyo Bhagavan Vajeshatana Yadadham Sri Vandhavan Pramya Kacha Dupasana Vrajavadu Vargena Yakam. Srimad Bhagavatam Pramana Mamalam Prima Pramardo Maham Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam Tatra Adharana Para. So the topmost worship is Aradya Brahman Vajeshatanaya. We are talking about Nanda and Ashoda son. We described already. There are two, both. Lord Krishna appeared as son of both. Devaka and Vasudeva Nanda and Ashoda. Nanda and Ashoda, when Vasudeva brought the son, that Vasudeva Krishna merged into Samsandar Krishna and Vandavan. He couldn't see it was hidden for different reasons. As we described already. So, so that's why it is not easy to understand. Now coming to Radharani's appearance. Uh, uh, coming soon. There. So where in uh, Nectar of Devotion, Prabhupada Goswami explains also in chapter 1 itself. Where attracting Krishna. Krishna. And so one of the qualities. Um, attracting Krishna. That is coming from. That is nothing but Srimad Radharani. Uh, so. And then who, who attracts Krishna more than. Nobody else attracts more than Srimad Radharani. So that way everybody must serve. We cannot directly take shelter of Krishna. When Krishna says here, Mahatma Astu Mahampa Daivim Prakrita Mahastu, take shelter. We have to take shelter through devotee. That devotee, spiritual master, especially is representative of Srimad Radharani and Lord Balram. So both. So that's why it is very, very important unless we take shelter. That's why when Gaur Mohan Day, Sri Prabhupada's father, used to serve the uh, sadhus uh, uh, regularly, almost every day basis, used to ask only benediction. Please bless my son so that he become the best devotee servant of Srimati Radharani. So that is what um, is the, was the ask and we can see how much uh, um, Prabhupada was blessed, how much Prabhupada was able to distribute this knowledge throughout the world. Uh, so that is what you can see. Guru Mohan days, uh, how much? That's why Sri Radharani is serving Sri Radharani, worshipping and uh, ask, uh, getting the, her favor, then Krishna cannot deny. So that's why taking shelter. And that is what we can see. And also in 8.20, Paratta Smart Bhavanyo uh, is mentioned where in the 8th chapter, attaining the Supreme. There also Paras, the spiritual energy, uh, transcendental energy, that is also, I think, but again, Wherever we hear the energy, the expansion, the material energy also expands now. Srimad Radharani, she is the divine energy, internal energy, and her expansion as we just described. Lakshmis, different Lakshmis, the Lakshmi Devi, and then when it comes to material world, that is explained further. I think I might have skipped that. Aladini Sekti has two divisions. When it is pure, unadulterated, that is Lakshmis and Gopis and um, Queens. When it is adulterated, it is mixed with three modes of material material quality, then it becomes external energy, material energy. 
So that's why Durga Devi. Huh? So she is in charge here in this material world. So as per that is the Mahamaya. She acts as Mahamaya. So that's her expansions. So Durga Devi is also the expansion of Sri Radha. In this way, we can understand all the energies are coming from uh, Sri Mati Radharani. So in uh, nectar devotion further also we see that Vitaraga um, Bayakroda Mamma Yama Mupasra Bahavo Dhana Tapasapoto. They are also Prabhupada explained that Upas is a taking shelter. Um, you cannot take shelter of directly Krishna. You have to take shelter of uh, Srimad Radharani and her expansion. Um, especially we see the Ropa Goswami. Ropa Goswami is another Ropa Manjari, associate of Lalita and Vishaka, who was assisting Radha and Krishna. Srimad Radharani especially. And as, uh, serving Krishna. So that we are in the Parampara. Chidana Mahaprabhu initiated Rupa and Sanatana and uh, six Goswamis in that line. And then further down, Mr. Uh, Prabhupada's disciples are there. So uh, all disciples of Rupa and Sanatana. So in this way, the Parampara is going through, coming down. So you can understand this is coming from Srimati Radharani. In that way also we can understand. So where eternally we serve in Golagrandavan also when we go, whenever we go back. So there also the service is continuing. Everybody is serving Radha and Krishna. So, so that's why it is very important to take shelter of the spiritual master and devotees and serve in that way to Srimati Radharani. So that's why we offer flowers. In the Always Prabhupada should have flower in the hand whenever we come to temple. In the, in the, at home also we should give flower, especially rose, Prabhupada like jasmine. Jasmine bud, Prabhupada used to smell always. Uh, also, what is that other flower? I forget uh, uh, the big flower. This uh, not uh, it doesn't grow regularly. Uh, um, that also, yeah, Prabhupada has some of the favorite. But uh, jasmine used to smell and rose. These two definitely we know. And uh, we should offer in the hands of Sri Prabhupada and in the hand of Sri Radharan to be offered to Krishna instead of giving directly. So now. Even in uh, Upanishad, in uh, Vedanta Sutra also, we see that Ananda Maya Vyasa, that is one of the Vedanta Sutra. That Ananda again coming from Ladini Potency, coming from Srimad Then we see nectar of instruction, the last verse, the topmost verse, 11th verse, is describing about Srimati, Radharani's, uh, Radharani and Radharani's Kunda, Radha Kunda. Uh, nectar of instruction, verse number 11, the topmost, uh, Rupa Goswami is giving even there also. So in this way, in each and every place, in Padma Puran, 7th and 20th chapter, in Bhumi Kanda, it is explained, Yatha Radha Priya Vishnu Tasya Kundam Priyam Tata Sarva Gopishu Shaivika Vishnu Atyanta Vallava. Just as Radha is dear to Lord Krishna, her bathing place is also dear to him. She she alone is, is most beloved of all gopis. So even in Upanishads also, because of time, Constraint. I am not giving the quotes from the Upanishads. Otherwise, our Acharya is quoted Gopal, Tapan Upanishad, and other uh, Upanishads and Tantras, uh, Puranas, so many Puranas, Agni, Agni Puran, Jeeva Goswami is quoting so many places, so many Puranas, so many Upanishads. Anaya Aradhya Tehiti Radha, 325.7 Srimad Bhagavatam Prabhupada is mentioning. Uh, there is no superior worship um, than. Uh, Srimad Radharani. That's why it's called Anaya Aradhya Tehiti Radha. That's how the definition is given. And also in Mukta Charita Raghunath Das Goswami, there is a, there's so many pastimes of uh, Srimad Radharani are there. So one of the pastimes Raghunath Das Goswami about the pearls, how when uh, he offered beautiful pearl bangles to Satya uh, and then she asked Satya Bhama, asked Krishna where these pearls came from. Then that was the whole big story, the whole book. There, uh, Srimad Radharani's uh, description is given. Gauram Raktambaram Ramyam Sunetram Susmitananam Shamam Shama Bista Sadikam Radikam Ashray. So, even Jagannath Askam, we see Sanaj Sankara wrote Jagannath Askam in that also. Uh, about Srimad Radharani's position is there. Damodar Askam, we see. So, in a, almost pretty much in every place we see. Uh, Srimati Radharani's name. So we can understand her position. So it's not, uh, she's uh, directly the ex, uh, direct internal energy of the Lord and she is uh, Krishna himself, not the growth of Krishna, and she expanded, Krishna himself expanded as Srimati Radharani when he wants to 
Yeah, it's a pleasure. Then now also we have to. So how did where did uh, Simad Radharani appear? Radharani appeared uh, one year after. So just like uh, yeah, one year after Krishna appeared in three different ways, three different different, different kalpas. Uh, it is explained Srimad Radharani's appearance. She appeared in Raval in one one of the kalpa. She appeared in Raval. Raval is all in near near in Vrindavan. Uh, Raval, Barsana, Nandagav. Nandagav is where Krishna appeared. So here Raval is the place where one of the one of the place. Uh, so Raval where uh, Vanu and Kitida. They are the eternal mother and father of Srimad Radharani parents. Just like Nanda and Ishoda are the eternal parents of uh, Krishna. But in Golok Vrindavan, uh, Krishna is always 16 and a half years old. Navayavanam Chavedesu Dullo Madhullo Aapna Vakta Govinda Madhur. But Srimad Radharani is 14 uh, years or 14 and a half. Kishori. Kishori. So she is uh, called Kishora. Okay. So that is her age. Not uh, small. In childhood pastimes are only there in this bound. So one time. So when Krishna told in the Mahavan, I think in Golok Vrindavan, so then uh, there that no, I, uh, Krishna asked, okay, now uh, we'll go to no, so no before that, yeah, Krishna left. Uh, Radharani fainted in one of the Rasamala. So one of the meaning is being given Radha. Generally means when we see that Ashoda means Da means one who is giver. Esha means fame. One who is giver of fame. Uh, Ashoda gave fame to Lord Krishna. Nanda, na, uh, da means one who gives pleasure. And then Nanda, like that we see that. So Radha means Ra means one who gives uh, the Hare word is used. Hare Krishna. Oh Radhe, oh internal energy of the Lord. Oh all attractive Lord Krishna. Oh Almighty Lord uh, Rama. Uh, please engage me in your service. That is what Hare Krishna Maha Mantra means. So same way. So here, uh, so uh, when Simat Radharani. Uh, suddenly fainted, fainted, thinking and remembering of, of Supreme Lord Krishna, and then Krishna disappeared from there. And this is in Golok Vrindavan. And they disappeared from there, and uh, he went to another uh, Gopi's Punja in uh, what is it? Viraja, hmm? Viraja Gopi. He went to Viraja Gopi's place, Punja. Then uh, when uh, Radharani came to came back from her, uh, you know, thing, then. She saw that Krishna is not there, then they asked Gopis, where did Krishna go? Then they said, Krishna went to uh, Viraja Punja. Then Radharani was so much furious and angry, and then she said, this is all transcendental, nothing of material anger. There is no material aspects here. We shouldn't uh, come to that understanding. So then, uh, so Radharani came, there by the time, then Radharani was so furious. She came with all her uh, Gopis, and then uh, Sridham is there. Hmm? Sridham was the whole, uh, is the bodyguard waiting. Outside protecting that don't allow hmm, Krishna told don't, don't allow anybody. So then Radharani said, um, Where is Krishna? Then I don't know. So she, she said, no, if you are here, then Krishna must be here. Then, uh, then no, 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 he cannot go inside. Hmm, Sridham says, Now then uh, uh, Radharani tells, Okay, you all take care. We have so many gopis, as I was telling, 630 million gopis. Uh, Radharani has uh, so many millions and millions of gopis are serving Radharani. So uh, so they took care of him, then Radharani went inside. By this, already Krishna heard the uh, disruption or the sounds of the uh, quarrel and conversation at the entrance. So then you would understand, and Viraja also, as soon as he heard and somebody is coming, then immediately she changed her form. Viraja Gopi changed her form into uh, Viraja River. She transformed her into liquid form so that, she, so that Radharani will not find out. Uh, then, uh, Lord, what did Lord Krishna do? Lord Krishna disguised himself as snake in that lake, Viraja river, in that river. Then, what Sri Radharani did? So then she also took a peacock, because peacock uh, uh, eats snakes. And so, she took a, in the form of a peacock. That's why Lord Krishna, one Acharya says, that Lord Krishna is always um, uh, dancing. Um, peacock, uh, always have a peacock feather on his uh, uh, turban always on his head wearing peacock. She love he Lord Krishna loves peacock. And in that way also Acharya has explained that because Radharani took that um, peacock form. So uh, so in this way then uh, after that happened then 
the final day this happened then they go back then this time then when so then after some time they radharani goes back then krishna come back to her hmm, radharani so because he knows what's going to happen then uh, when krishna came to sri mudra radharani now the so many gopis then radharani said no don't tell him if he comes back don't tell him then he then he was saying then gopis were no 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 so i uh, please i want to uh, meet uh, radharani then gopis said all right you sit in this room one room uh, then we will come her down and uh, bring her uh, so don't worry then uh, sridham watching all this uh, then krishna is so powerful he is all attractive all so then sridham became very furious uh, this then he cursed shrimad radharani that you will take uh, 100 uh, so for 100 uh, years uh, you will go to mortal world and take birth in 100 years you will be separate from krishna you will be separated from krishna that's why he has to marry uh, okay so this this is the curse and then radharani as soon as he comes out then we he heard heard this curse then she also cursed sridham you will also have that uh, similar thing so then in this way cursing and counter curse then this has been explained to lord krishna then lord krishna said don't worry this is not your this is actually my uh, my desire actually this is so now uh, because then another place also is mentioned krishna want okay let's go to bom um, uh, earth planet is it other no i don't want to go there um, the neither there is vrindavan or giriraj govardhan cows all these things uh, she was talking then is it, don't worry so all those are there already now we just need to go there and if you are there so that way there is a mountain i forget the names then appeared as giriraj govardhan in all these places yamuna everything appeared so bomo vrindavan golok vrindavan in this world is not different from the golok vrindavan in the spiritual world so then radha and said all right and so i will appear i will also come in that way radha and krishna appeared so what lord krishna appeared in nandagao and then radha and appeared to rashabhanu and kitta dahu she appeared when he when he went in the morning bath proper explained one place one of the lecture is upa says when he was tilling the field then he found the basket then uh, so that's so radha and so radha and was not born to any person she was not born in, from the womb so ajani hmm? so jana uh, means uh, one who is born from the womb of a mother but she was not born like that she was not a material she was transcendental even when krishna appeared also krishna appeared with four handed form he didn't appear from the womb so he appeared in four handed form so that's all everything is transcendental but say four point nine bhagavad gita janma karma chame everything is transcendental then anyway, this one kalpa one way it is explained as and prashabhanu uh, father of srimad radharani went in the morning early in the morning to take bath uh, there beautiful thousand petal shining lotus he finds in that lake shining then when he went closer and closer then he saw within that lotus uh, so beautiful girl then in that way he took uh, that beautiful girl went home then he saw that her eyes were closed they thought um, she was blind but beautiful uh, uh, very uh, what do you call um, everything about her uh, uh, all her bodily um, uh, parts everything is explained so beautiful uh, uh, it was so attractive narada muni comes later on narada muni is the one who brings lord krishna and we should conduct and do a party celebrate uh, why didn't you celebrate uh, the initial there was big long story is there then he is uh, you have any kids because narada muni knows at this time particular incident is going to happen so narada muni is going to appear so this is one incident where in one of the kalpa it is explained in another place uh, past time it is explained when surya bhagwan want to have a daughter of uh, as per the uh, narada muni then he was praying then they appeared as this uh, this banu rashabhanu in that way also then uh, yeah they had then uh, yeah by praying by uh, performing severe tapasya and austerity and praying to i think uh, i don't remember whether to katya you know i don't know i think kratu uh, muni or who so surya bhagwan surya also got the blessings and then uh, then he gave the, i think uh, he received the jewelry box kind of thing and there 
Oh, he finds Srimad Radharani is there in that way. And then the third pastime is explained in third different kalpa. Again, all these are different kalpas. In different places, it is explained differently. So, uh, where Vindhya mountain wants to also have an. Uh, 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 no, Vindhya and um, Hima, Himalayas, Himachal, hmm? Himalaya mountain, Himalaya mountain we know, the daughter of Himalaya mountain is Parvati Devi, uh, Parvati Devi husband is Lord Shiva, so then Vindhya mountain is rival to the Himalaya, so Vindhya seeing that uh, Himalaya mountain, Parvati Devi was married to Lord Shiva, the demigod, powerful demigod, Lord Shiva, very powerful, so then she also wants to have a husband, I want to have a daughter and a husband, must be very powerful who can defeat Lord Shiva. In this way, she has started doing severe penance, you know, Lord Brahma. And Lord Brahma appeared then without understanding for a full desire, he said yes. And then she wanted to have a daughter who can, and whose husband uh, can defeat you know, Lord Shiva. So then Lord Brahma realized uh, his mistake, granting that boon. Then he has no choice, he already said yes. So then finally then, two daughters were born later on that is Radharani and Chandravali were born to Vindhya later on. Then meantime Narodamani goes to Kamsa and tells uh, what is going to happen. There we see that that eighth child and Krishna appeared along with that uh, child also a girl appears because Vasudev brought the uh, Nanda and Ishoda's daughter brought uh, to um, prison house. Then Kamsa that took and dash to the uh, uh, earth uh, to kill her. But then she goes up in the sky and then, oh fool, you are trying to kill me actually, the one, the personality who you are going to be killed with, uh, he already appeared. Uh, so that time they also tell that uh, there are eight, uh, eight girls also appear. Uh, then whoever, uh, so these eight girls, whoever marries, they will be very, very, they will become very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. So this is what then Kamsa is uh, uh, calls Putra. Now kill all these boys whoever is going to appear and then bring all the baby girls he wants to marry because he understood that they can defeat Lord Shiva. Okay. He was the associate of Lord Shiva. Then she thought uh, this is the demon, demoniac mentality. So, uh, Lord Shiva granted all the wounds. Uh, he was worshipping Lord Shiva and then he wants to that. He thought I can defeat Lord Shiva. He wants to marry. This, that's why he told Putana, bring all the baby girls. In this. Then Putana goes one time and to the, uh, the finding out where the baby girls are. Then she sees, finally finds Vindhya mountain. Then uh, these two girls, they were performing the uh, Ignya. Then uh, this demon lifts, uh, takes both the uh, girls and uh, trying to go. And then Brahmanas find out, then tells Vindhya. Then immediately, then, then Vindhya king, both are kings, they are not ordinary mountain. Mountain means like Giriraj, both, there is not a uh, material where there is no energy actually. Uh, so, so much grass, so much, so many things grow. The transcendental personality, Giriraj, both them. Uh, expansion of Supreme Lord Sri Krishna himself. Uh, so, so, like that Himalaya Himal 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 mountain is also not ordinary mountain. And same thing here, Vindhya, uh, personality. King. So, Vindhya's wife, Vindhya, along with Vindhya's wife, there are two daughters. So, these two daughters, then uh, they chanted a mantra. Then by that, she became so weak, then she had, she left her, one of the girl at one of the place, Vishmaka kingdom in Vidarbha. Uh, so, then after a few years, then he brings back, that king brings back into Vrindavan. She has become Chandravali. Then uh, second uh, girl who leaves, uh, when she comes to Putana, come back to Vrindavan, by that time she lost all her energy. She becomes so weak by her Brahmana chanting those mantras. So then she leaves uh, that girl in Vrindavan. In that way, the, the, this third way of Radharani appearing. So Radharani appeared uh, in this way, mysterious way. Uh, the eyes closed when by Narada Muni's mercy, Lord Krishna was brought in. Through a festival, Nanda and Ishoda came, again Krishna came, then Krishna um, poked, uh, poked into that uh, place where cradle and then she saw, he saw that immediately by getting the smell of Krishna, then Radharani opened her eyes and then immediately this whole pastime is also explained. The third pastime where we described Vindhya mountain, this is explained in Rupa Goswami, Lalita Madhav, uh, so in different places explained. About 
అండ్ ప్రభోదాన సరస్వతి రోడ్ రాధా రాజ శుద్ధ నిధి బుక్ దేర్ రాధా రాణి ఇస్ గ్లాన్సింగ్ కృష్ణ ఆల్ దిస్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ హౌ షీ వాజ్ గ్లాన్సింగ్ ఆల్ దిస్ బర్త్ అండ్ పాస్ట్ టైమ్ ఆఫ్ నార్త్ మునీ ఆల్ దిస్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇన్ దట్ సో దేర్ ఇన్ దిస్ వే దెన్ బై నార్త్ మునీస్ మర్సీ then krishna was brought in krishna by seeing krishna then because she doesn't want to see that was the boon in the spiritual world when he want then krishna says okay let's go and uh, be uh, in the uh, go to the material world and she said, i don't want to see anybody other than you so that how this past time has happened then radharani sees krishna first time then only she open then in that way so the this past time starts so because of that curse then i am radharani had to marry i am ghosh abhimanyu in different different names are given so this is because of the curse and then uh, sridham had to be a demon again for some like time 100 or something so because of the radharani's curse to sridham this is all part of the transcendental because without these rasas because so here the highest rasa parakya rasa has to be exhibited the past that is the past time so that's why all these gopis also Uh, many they are um, many of them has husbands but actually they are performing transcendental past time with supreme lord sri krishna so the, in this way we have to understand everything is transcendental nothing of material even when it is mentioned as the lusty desires or something that is all nothing of material and that is nothing but ramya kajal padam means loving affairs loving sentiments loving mellows that so that is what it is not any anything we think about in the material world the material it is not of any material chaitanya mahaprabhu is so strict as i mentioned clearly nobody should associate with women especially those who are in the sanyas those who are brahmachari they should never associate with women so if he is especially after taking sanyas he himself is strict then why he will last uh, where it is meant prema upama uh, the devotees uh, acharya sikran uh, chetan mahaprabhu krishna himself is teaching prema kumar do maham the highest priest of most is love, loving developing love relationship and krishna is after we are all trying to develop loving relation to krishna and krishna is after who you know to krishna is after shrimad radharani uh, we are trying to love krishna and krishna is after shrimad radharani this way also has explained so that we can understand the position of shrimati radharani she is always trying to give pleasure in through different ways so many different past times to this paul past and mukta charita so so many different past times from raval and barsana so raval she was found but this is actually they live in barsana rishabhan and rishabhan uh, and kitida uh, so they are the eternal mother and father of shrimati radharani so they are in barsana so from raval they found when he went to bath like yamuna river or kalindi i think yamuna river then they brought her to her home that is barsana so that's why you see in raval there is a temple called uh, a lordly temple um, they but in barsana they they have temple sri ji temple so in both places they have uh, big celebrations on the last me day appearance day of sri mudran so one year after krishna appeared krishna was crawling one year after uh, one week one year one week after krishna appeared or so sri mudradrani appears uh, in that way so the, this way we already 912 so any quick questions i think we may have to have a part 2 so hopefully we'll see if it is possible we'll do saturday otherwise some other time any questions on the form are you getting any questions on the form yes go ahead Ra- yeah so 
I explain in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Let the go guy let uh, refer clearly so that moment. Verse number 62 from chapter 4 on uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita Aj Leela. Anandam se sanadani, sadam se sandani, chidam se samvit, yare, janma kari mani. Total exhibition of these three potencies. So, anandam se sanadani, ananda. Anandam was Vardhan. So, Ananda Maya Vyasa, Vedanta Sutra. This is all coming from that Ananda is nothing but whenever somebody is saying happiness, Ananda, that is all coming from Srimati Radharani, as well as the spiritual happiness through devotion service. That is all coming from Radhini Sekti, that internal potency of the Lord, also sometimes called Swarup Sekti. So, that is Krishna coming from uh, Srimati Radharani. Whenever we say Radhini potency, that is Srimati Radharani. And then Originally, everything is coming from Krishna. Okay, Krishna himself is divided into these three energies. So, one is in charge, Samvit, is Chit potency, the knowledge potency, Krishna became the in charge, uh, so that is Chit and some, uh, Samvit, that is Samvit. Chit and Samvit is same thing, knowledge. And the existential potency, uh, so eternal existence, eternal, such Chit Ananda, when we say eternality, knowledge, and please, that's why everybody is looking for, nobody wants to die, everybody wants to be happy. Nobody wants to die means eternality, because we are eternal. That eternality aspect is nothing coming from Balaram, Lord Balaram. So that's why Lord Balaram is expanding as Vrindavan, Gola Vrindavan, Vaikuntha planets. This made everything coming from when the fighting or Krishna is walking, running away from the war field. So Lord Balaram makes it such that it becomes distance is so far. So, Lord Balram acts in so many different ways. That's all existential potency. That is Sat. That is the uh, Sandini and Sat. Same thing. That is Lord Balram is the representation. And then uh, Samvit is Krishna himself is representing that. That is a knowledge aspect. Sat Chit. That Chit potency, knowledge pot knowledge, and Samvit. That is the same thing. It is uh, Lord Krishna is representing. Now, Radhani potency. Because Lord Krishna himself is uh, expanding as Lord Balram. As Swamsa, but uh, Krishna himself is Srimad Radharani. Uh, so, Lord Krishna himself expanded as Balaram uh, to perform this uh, eternal, this existential potency. So, that became, and then like, another thing I explained, uh, I forgot to explain. Lord, uh, when Srimad Radharani, when Lord Krishna desired to expand himself into uh, the pleasure potency, wants to enjoy, then Radharani appeared from the left side. So, that's why all the Sektis. We are also actually in one sense, we are marginal potency. So we are also not directly, we are not directly serving Krishna. We are serving through Srimad Radharan, serving through representative of Srimad Radharan. So that's why when we bow down also, we bow down, uh, bow down, our left side should be towards the deities. So towards the deities, when we bow down, that's why. Because when, rather, that's why when you see on the altar also, Srimad Radharan, she is left side to Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. So that way, that's why you can see. So when Radharani appeared on the left, from the left side portion of the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. So she is the Haladini potency. In this way, we understand Sat, Samvit, Sandani, Haladini, or Sat, Chit, Ananda. That Ananda, Haladini aspect is Radharani, Krishna's expansion. Actually, in one sense, Radharani non different because originally Krishna is one. Krishna expands when he wants to enjoy Rasa, like. Uh, why anybody wants to have kids? Because they want to have rasa, mellows, one person or friends. Because uh, nobody can enjoy himself. He has to have um, somebody else, second person. Then only he can enjoy different rasas. Otherwise it will become monotonous. Every day you can eat the same rice dal. There should be some variety within that. Even if it is rice dal, sabji also. You know, exact same thing you will not eat uh, days and days. So that's why to have that variety of rasa, Ananda Chinmay Rasa Pradibhavita Vistavirya Yeva Nijarupataya Kalavikuloka Yeva Nivasada Kalapna Bhutu Govinda Maj. From that Ananda Chinmay Rasa, uh, it's uh, unlimitedly expanded. So that's why Sri Radharani, uh, Krishna expanded as Sri Radharani. So later on again, they combined again in, and they appeared as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, combined form. So as per in the mood of Sri Radharani, Krishna appeared, otherwise combined form. So that's what we have to understand. Is that clear?
is called energetic. The source of all the energies is coming from Krishna. He is called energetic. Just understand that he is the fire. The heat is coming from heat and cold. Is coming from the same. Because uh, if the sun is not there, sun, because of sun only heat and cold, both are there, coming from. Evaporation, everything is happening. If sun is not there, nobody can survive. So same with the heat. The, the heat is coming with the fire. So that fire is nothing but the actual uh, energetic. Uh, so the source of all energies is Krishna. So, yeah. So, so. Yes. Radharani is the energy. Ladini energy. Internal potency of the Lord. Yes. Ladini. Internal energy. And uh, Lord Balaram is the expansion of Krishna taking care of the Sat potency. As well as the ex uh, existential. Sandini potency. Existential potency of the Lord. He is taking care of that aspect. So, and uh, Radharani is taking care of the Radhani aspect. All the concerns. The cause of all the concerts. Divine uh, concerts. Whether it's the Lakshmi Devi, all the queens, all the, uh, um, the Durga Devi, all the Shaktis. Shakti and Shakti Maan. Hmm? So, Eko Bahusyam. Shyam, only one, but Lord Krishna expands. We are also our expansions, but we are called Vibhin Namsa. We are marginal. We can tend to choose to enjoy with the material world or in the spiritual world. So, that's why we are called marginal potency, Jiva, living entity. Uh, especially conditional living entities, they are again uh, so nitya baddha, nitya mukta, eternal liberated, never want to come down, never want to be separated from the Supreme Lord. And we are in the other way, we want to enjoy separating from the Lord, we are falling under the other category. So, that is jiva tattva, uh, marginal. But the, the other category is swams, Lord Balaram is coming under swams, his own expansions, Krishna's own expansions. Uh, so, Srimad Radharani is also Krishna himself, as it is mentioned, not different from Krishna in one sense. Krishna is directly expanding himself as Srimad Radharani. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Yes, it's not easy to understand. Yes, that's why I told Krishna's pastime itself to understand his birth and activities itself is difficult. On top of it, Srimad Radharani's appearance itself is, I explained three different pastimes, three different ways Radharani's appearance is explained, three different kalpas, it, there could be more, what we know, is uh, all mysterious, exactly when he appeared and how he appeared, so exactly, uh, all those means, uh, so which kalpa, which, uh, so all the, it's very difficult, mm -hmm. so that's why the Radha Tattva is all more difficult than understanding Krishna Tattva, mm -hmm. so, so it's very difficult, but some we have to everything. We cannot put material calculations. That's why understanding supreme Lord, understanding the absolute truth, we have to depend on the mercy of the spiritual master and uh, bhakti devotion service. That is the only way. That's why Acharya explain. Atapi te deva padam bhujam bhayam jana api tatpan bhagavan mahimno chanyam vichanvan. So atapi te deva only to the mercy of the a lot of speed of the Supreme Lord and Spiritual Master. Te Deva Padam Bajadvayam. Janavi Tattvam Bhagavan Mahim. Otherwise, Na Chanya Vika Vichyamma. So, we will never be able to understand. Otherwise, through mental speculation, through yoga process, through karma, through gnana, it's not going to be possible. Only if we have mercy, like Rupa Goswami, by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we could understand the inner desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, same way. So, that is the only way. When the mercy is given, then you can understand. That's why we read the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Isya Prasadayana Agna. So, even the foolish, nobody, even, even less intelligent, even he doesn't, fully ignorant, but he can be fully powerful as soon as uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives his mercy. Spiritual Master gives Mokam Karodhi Vachalam. We chant all this because we understand mercy is coming through a spiritual master. Uh, otherwise, what power, what potency, what qualification we have, we don't know anything. So, only by the mercy only we can. So that mercy all coming down from Sri Matra, she is the most merciful, she is the most compassionate. There are many pastimes we discussed before. One pastime where uh, one of the jackals uh, uh, or uh, in fire, somebody put fire uh, when jackals are inside, 
somebody put fire and jackals are burning inside uh, then uh, uh, gopis told this is what is happening and then shri madhavarani herself went and uh, rescued uh, rescued them make them the maid servants or uh, associates of shri madhavarani that is her compassion she is the most compassionate so that's why and we can see that compassion coming down so propada is more compassionate uh, so despite uh, devotees leaving him are going doing different things still again and again instructing still giving mercy as a grandfather as so much mercy from come that is coming from shrimati radharani more and more he is not strict i know krishna is ready to cut down sometimes but radharani used to know leave him leave him so so that that's why we have um, that's why acharyas explain we have to taru through parampara that goes all the way goes to shri madhav radharani and then she presents to krishna then he cannot deny okay. any questions on the google meet hari krishna you can unmute yourself hari krishna prabhu yes they want to go ahead so the Yeah, I think that Radha Rani is the other form of Krishna. Yeah. So, worshiping Krishna, worshiping Radha is the same thing or different. We 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 worship as per Brahma Madhva Gaudi Sampradaya, as per our Sampradaya, we we worship. No, we don't worship alone. We worship Radha and Krishna together. Even we we don't put that way. Before, as per the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, before that people used to worship put Krishna, just Krishna. picture but either krishna has to be with cows krishna has to be with devotees or krishna has to be with shri madhavarani so we our our main is worshiping shri shri radha and krishna shri shri radha sham sundar that is the main especially initially starting with in the even though we may worship radha sham sundar but we worship in the mood of vidhi marga especially with rules and regulation more in the pancharatri vidhi in the uh, in the way lakshmi narayan on reverence because we haven't come to the platform of raga moga bhakti where that means spontaneous devotion then you can worship in that way but we are not at that level that's why we see the grandier opulence uh, more not exactly like vrindavan not so simple but more on reverence that is the way um, initially uh, they should be worship they should be decorated gradually it will change that and through vidhi marga gradually when we come to that stage we develop spontaneous attraction like the cohort boys cohort girls um developed attraction nectar devotion talks about in part 2 there are attraction also the some has uh, through familiar family relation to parent child like edu dynasty uh, they have a uh, family relation with krishna so through that they uh, develop the attraction some through the conjugal relationship some through the friendship uh, there are different again uh, categories within each of these nectar devotion talks about in part 1 uh, later on part 2 more detail so yeah, in that way we have to understand this is that clear they want to yes also i forgot tell the in one place uh, the past time is also explained that we uh, that viraja river mm? so that um, viraja gopi became viraja river um, we know that to material world and the spiritual world, the crossing is viraja river that also she had mm, the different uh, things i heard but i need to also refer one place it is uh, mentioned as this viraja river had uh, seven different sons and they were also cursed by radharani and then they became they appeared you have to appear in jambu dweepa and then you appear in seven different oceans salt ocean mani ocean liquor ocean which we are not able to see other than only salt ocean we see uh, so that was time and another way also uh, i heard in radha ras suddhanidhi i think um, the seven different oceans uh, radharani srimad radharani is uh, qualities Uh, one by one, I explain these different in these different oceans in seven different ways. Seven different oceans. Our mercy, our, our qualities are explained in these seven different oceans in the form. Uh, I heard, but I, I forget. 
sons, but that is from Radha Ras Sudhanidhi. Rupa Goswami also wrote, uh, I think, Krishna, what is that? Radha Krishna, Gana Gando Desh Deepika. The, there it is explained about the all Radharani, Srimad Radharani associates and uh, the names, uh, because uh, 108 are the principal, there are so many, so all the words are, you know, uh, all the different characters, different personalities, uh, the pets, uh, birds, parrots, and uh, uh, the different uh, animals, all of the, uh, them are also mentioned in that. So different books are there, but they are the highest level. So we don't need to refer at this time. When we come to that level, we can understand. So that's what Prabhupada always said. Don't read too much. Uh, don't try to come to 10th canto and read directly. And so because that is, otherwise we will come to, um, we will not be able to understand. And so that becomes a challenge in our, uh, you know, mind. That's why it, we have to gradually come to that level. Since it is Radha asked me, generally otherwise I don't discuss, like to discuss this topic about Sri Mata uh, uh, regularly. So that's why specifically on Radha asked me day, we want to understand a little bit about her position, her appearance, um, her workplace, the parents, why she was married to uh, Abhimanyu, Ayan Ghosh. Uh, so we discussed before also uh, the past time uh, where all of them uh, offered beautiful prayers to Srimad surrendered and offered prayers including Chandravali, including Ayan Ghosh, uh, Radharani's husband also that you are the topmost. Uh, please give the mercy. They took uh, the dust, of the, uh, they want to take the dust of the Radharani's lotus feet. Uh, so they are all offered. So so many different players, different pastimes are there. So it is a transcendental past time why this this happened in Golo Vrindavan, why uh, they were cursing and counter cursing. So this is Krishna's desire. Some other they had various uh, various reasons are there for uh, uh, them to appear in this world in different past times. Uh, so that way we understand, not with a material understanding. That why Krishna has done this, uh, so Ras Lila, why Krishna is associating with other men's wives. So that is more of a material calculation, material understanding. So we have to understand from the proper sources, proper uh, so Acharyas, so that we can understand the Tattva uh, in the right way. Anyone else has any other questions? About 9.30. So Monday is Radhashtami, so, uh, so fasting till noon and uh, we should try to chant uh, nicely and try to attend Mangalata or do it at from home. Uh, read uh, Krishna book, you can read uh, from Krishna book and also read Prabhupada lectures, four lectures Prabhupada has given. Uh, more philosophy, Prabhupada always presents more philosophy, understanding the same aspects. Uh, uh, from if you want to read, you can read from Chaitanya Charitamrita uh, chapter 4 specifically. The verse number 4 of Chaitanya, uh, verse number 5 of first canto, first uh, Adi Leela, uh, chapter 1, fifth verse is expanded the whole chapter. Actually, those verses, first verses, 14 verses are expanded into as per the first, uh, some of those are 3 or 4 together. They are expanded into the whole one chapter. So, as per the fifth verse, 1.5 of Adilila is expanded as the fourth chapter. The whole chapter is explaining about why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, what are the external reason and internal reason in that same, uh, so about the actual position of Srimad Radharani and then how Krishna expanded as Radharani and then again combined as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that whole aspects, what is the position of uh, her, so everything is explained uh, about her Mahabhav, the topmost bhav, nobody else can attain. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu showed that form, that Mahabhav in the Chaitanya Chaitanya we see that last few chapters of Anta Leela, and that the highest ecstatic emotions, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the mood of Srimad Radharan exhibiting that. And uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanted those verses, uh, uh, we discussed this morning, Anta Leela, that is there, verse number 76. Priya Suvayam Krishna Savachari and Kaumarahara. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanted one verse and Prabhu Goswami written that similar verse decoding that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's verse. 
uh, so that we, we can read on the last midday we want to read uh, from chetan sirtamrita chapter 4 or we can read from krishna book uh, and bhagavad gita obviously that manmana bhavamat bhakta two times it is mentioned in bhagavad gita that is also wherever krishna is mentioning about the take shelter of me think about me and loving relationship Mm-hmm. So that is Krishna is talking about the who is the topmost uh, loving relationship. Mm-hmm. So that is Srimad Radharani. So that also, so that's why that is completely hidden. So indirectly in Srimad Radharani, Bhagavad Gita is completely hidden. Uh, you will not even see, at least in Bhagavatam, we see that Anaya Aradita. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that way, two, three verses are there in Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhagavad Gita is completely hidden. Chaitanya Charitamrita is explicitly, directly describing. Uh, Radharani's name, uh, so we can see Gopi's name also, and uh, this is also explained in uh, hearing from Chaitanya Leela from Guru Maharaj. Today also we heard that how Krishna and uh, Krishna opened, uh, Radharani opened her eyes, uh, and Krishna uh, came there. That is explained in Murari Gupta Karsha and Chaitanya Mangal. Uh, there are so many books of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes and different books. Uh, so many, all these are different at different levels, different uh, uh, rasas uh, are explained in different ways through different acharyas because everybody is coming, uh, having their own rasa. Uh, so, all different acharyas, so giving different type of pleasures, uh, variety of pleasure to devotees. So, we will stop here. If no other questions, so. And you can bring offer Radharani, especially favorite one is plum uh, and also arbi. And, uh, those are the two things we know. Uh, Radha Vallabi they prepare with urad dal. And that is also uh, one of the Radharani's favorite. Uh, so Goa, these are the few things I know of. So you can try to offer those at home. And uh, whatever Prabhupada likes, also you can offer at any time in generally any of these festivals. So whatever proper likes, we can offer also. Uh, so that way, our spiritual master, whatever he likes, we can offer also. That pleases. When we please spiritual master, Srimad Radharani will be automatically pleased. Uh, so whatever we can offer. With devotion, basically, that is the main aspect with Tulasi. We should offer on the Tadashtami day. Um, so we have evening celebration. Sunday evening we have Shrayan Adivas, 8.30 to 9, where we will present different articles. If you want to bring anything, fruits or anything, you can give. They will offer on behalf of you cloth or anything, jewelry, whatever you can offer that day. Thank you, Hare Krishna, Dimras, Srimad, Chaitanya Chaitamrata, Ki Jaya, Shri Prabhupada, Ki Jaya, Gaur, 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 Gaur,